name format 0 means you are going to use a standard naming format of AS Foundry system. When you say a standard naming format, it is the same format that you see when you are opening your uh, source file by giving the command work member pdm. Like you can see here, this is a library irobo1 and this is a source physical file and this is the member name. So when you want to fetch the data of account member to your local system, you will use the get command and then you will give library name slash source physical file name dot member name that is account. So the same thing is uh, has been given here. First of all, we have changed the naming format to name format zero, code site name format zero. Even if we are not giving this, it will by default take as a standard naming format that is name format zero. And then we have given here get and uh, then the library name, then the source physical file name and then the member name and after this we are writing this uh, to an output file uh, .txt file so this is how name format 1 will work but if you want to use naming format 1 so it is also going to function in the same way only the format that we are using here for accessing the member that will be completely different so we will see how we can access a member by name format 1 so here you can see this all are all members are inside irobo one library and inside source physical file qrpglesrc so the same thing will be stored in our ifs folder so when we say ifs folder it means it is name for naming format one so we can go to ifs folder by using the command work link then we give qsys.lib since we know everything is created under this qsys library so our library irobo one will also be inside this qsys library okay after library we need to put the extension dot live and after uh, file name we need to put dot file extension and then we we can give the member name i am just pressing it enter here object not found okay i robo one okay when you press enter so uh, you will see uh, this is the directory inside qsys there is i robo one and inside our i robo one there is qrpg slc so this is the file name that exists in this i robo one library now when you open this directory also you will see all the members that are inside this qrpglesrc file so the same thing when we go to work member pdm we can also see the same thing and when we are coming to ifs folder the same library uh, the same members are uh, listed here when you open this it will uh, give you a flat file so th like this it will be so either you access it with name format 0 or name name format 1 the content will be same only the formatting option is different so uh, when you so in the same example you can uh, see here this is name format 0 and another example this is name format 1 so we have used uh, code site name format 1 so in name format 1 we use the naming format that we see in ifs folder directory that you can see uh, right here now uh, we have used uh, get qs sleep then the library name then the source physical file name with file extension and uh, then the member name with member extension and we are writing this to uh, this mm, text file so when we uh, use this command it will automatically set the naming format to name format 1 and it will uh, start retrieving the member so this is how name format 1 works so uh, we have covered here name format 0 and name format 1 now we will move to the next example
the next command that we are going to see here is SKC this is a mode of transfer transferring the data from one system to another system when you are transferring the data you need to make sure what should be the transfer mode either it should be ASCII or it should be binary mode these are the two modes that we are using to transfer data if you want to transfer some non-standard kind of data we will use binary mode but if you want to transfer a standard kind of data like you are transferring text file from one system to another system this is a standard mode of transfer and you can very well go for ASCII so this is generally a default uh, transfer mode and you don't need to set it but if you are currently in binary mode and you want to go for ASCII mode you can give the command ASCII here and then the uh, command that will perform the transfer so this is how it works and uh, the next command that is binary so for that uh, you can transfer the data that is of type like uh, that is of non-standard files like if the, you want to transfer data that is save file you want to transfer or you want to transfer executable files or gif file or date file so for transferring this kind of files since these are non-standard you need to use the command bin or binary and then you give the command that will transfer the data so this is one is small example that we are setting here the binary mode and then we are transferring the data we will demonstrate these uh, two modes of transfer by taking one example um, of transferring the data i will just open the command prompt and will demonstrate one example here so um, just uh, first of all i will make a connection to the remote system okay i'm giving here the system name and uh, after that i will enter the username and uh, password so once we uh, have made a connection to the remote system uh, we will write one text file to the remote system and we'll see if we need to set any kind of mode of transfer or not see by default as i already told you that the mode of transfer will be ascii in such case we don't need to set the transfer mode since uh, we just need one file one text file inside this current working directory eminem so here we can see uh, there is one uh, i'll remove all these folders first of all so there is one text file here abc.txt so i will uh, just write this text file to the remote system that i have connected to for this i don't need to set any mode of transfer since ascii here will be a default mode of transfer we don't need to set it so i will just give a put command abc.txt i will just press enter and it is showing that the data has been transferred to this location in the remote system if you want to check the data just go to the remote system and check if it is available there or not this is inside home and i robo So here we can uh, see that abc.txt is available here if we open it we can uh, see it is listing um, a set of directory and folders here and it is a directory of c users eminem so the same thing you can find it here if you open this text file in your local system so this is how it will work we don't need to set the mode to ascii if we are transferring a standard kind of data to the remote system now if we want to transfer data that is of non-standard kind in such a case we need to 
set the mode to binary then only it will make the transfer possible so for a non-standard kind of data we will make here a save file in the remote system um, just I will create one save file um, in library I will over one the save file uh, name will be save one save f1 I'll say save file one so I'm creating this save file so save file has been created if you want to uh, save any kind of object in this save file uh, just uh, give the command save object here so here we will uh, save this object rpg2 uh, in save file irbo1 so this object has been saved in the save file savefile one now we will uh, download this save file to our local system and we will see if we need to set any kind of mode of transfer or not see initially here the currently the mode of transfer is ascii only now i just give the command uh, get and then i will give the path where the save file is stored in the remote system so it is inside irobo1.lib and the save file 1.savf now when you press enter it will give you one message that binary image transfer is required for the save files so here uh, setting the binary mode is a mandatory thing so just type bin it will set the mode to binary and give give the command again it will download the save file to your local system so here we have downloaded the data from the remote system we can check it so this is a save file that has been downloaded from remote system so this is how the uh, two kinds of mode of transfer we are using if we are transferring text file there is uh, only mode of transfer will be ascii and if there is any kind of binary image file then in such a case we need to set the mode to binary so this is what we had for ascii and binary mode of transfer we will proceed to the next example now